man, it's been a long time since I told, I told y'all my job stories, my dating stories, stories that I experienced. Well, I'm going to lay a story of my experience. 2008, driving my 95 Ford Thunderbird. I used to talk to this girl off the chat line. And her name was Camille. And I um, we met on the chat line. Then we went on on a date to the movies. Had a good time. Then we went to Denny's, got something to eat. And I dropped I dropped her off at her place. And when I dropped her off at the place, you couldn't park in the front. Because you couldn't park in the front, but you can park on the back and park on the side. And when I dropped her off, and I parked my car, I um, got out, walked in the back, and two guys was in the back. And they asked me what I was looking for. I told him the girl's name. Said she don't live here. And when I turned around, they jumped me. But what saved my life is when when I dropped off at the, at the uh, when, I, when I dropped her off, the police was parked on the side of the street. So when they jumped me, they took my keys, took my glasses. Then after after um, I got jumped, I went to the police officer's officer and told them what happened. Gave in the house and everything. I thought I had witnesses. They said they didn't see nothing. They don't know what what they don't know what was going on. Or what they talk about. But while they was jumping me, and I'm trying to defend myself, the girl I went out with stood there and watched. But when they policemen asked her the questions, she told them that she didn't know me. So I was being set up. And I'm telling y'all this dating story so y'all can learn learn the story and do something different when you meet these girls on these chat lines and these dating sites. When you when you have to drop a girl off, drop off at her place, and you can't park at the front, go home on the first date.